Hi, welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. Today on our uh, Advanced Knowledge Problem of the Week series, we're going to look at a, a drunk, drunkard's walk. Uh, we're going to look at the probability he ends up either at McDonald's or the bar. Um, so off the bat, we, we're looking for the probability P M of N, which is uh, the probability he ends up at McDonald's, and probability P B of N is the probability he ends up at the bar. Um, we're going to consider um, position M as position zero, and then uh, probability ends up at the, the bar is going to be at position N, McDonald's is going to be at position zero. Um, so we know after taking one step, depending on where he is, uh, N is the current um, position he's at. And so um, if he takes one step in either direction, it's a he's a 50-50 chance of going either way. We know at uh, N minus one, um, he'll be one step left, and N plus one, he'll be one step closer towards the bar. Um, so we know at any point that um, the probability P of M of N is going to be the sum, the sum of those two probabilities. So then we know that um, P M of N is going to be a linear function um, of N. And um, since we're looking for the probability, we know P M zero is going to be one since um, McDonald's is at position zero, and then PM of big N is going to be zero. Um, so let's write those out. So this here tells us um, that we can find the probability of ending at the bar is um, is just going to be 1 minus the probability that he'll, he'll be at McDonald's. Um, so we know, um, so this also will tell us um, a better way to write P of M. And so once we know P, P M of N, um, we know that uh, PB of N, which, are, which we're also looking for, is going to be 1 minus um, PM of N. So we, now we know um, the probability of ending up at McDonald's and the probability um, of ending up at the bar, depending on the initial position, little n. Um, so part B asks, asks for the expected number of steps um, of reaching either end. Um, so we can go ahead and look at that. So we can call g of k um, the function that expresses the expected number of steps. Um, where k is just going to, we're going to use k as the steps, however many steps away is from McDonald's. Um, so we can write that out. So um, let's say he's at k, um, however many steps from McDonald's that is. And after taking one step, he has uh, one half chance of going towards McDonald's and one half chance of going away from McDonald's towards the bar. So you can write that out. So knowing this, we can uh, form an equation for g of k. Um, so it has one, one half chance of being a k minus one and one half chance of being a k plus one. Um, Um, we're also going to add one because he took one step um, away from k um, in the second part. So we're going to add a one to the expected number of steps. Um, so once that's known, we're going to have to show uh, this recurrence 
uh, relation. Um, and we can do that by, if we multiply by, through by 2 and summing uh, these equations, we can get a better look at it. Um, so we're going to then look at values of k um, from 1 to uh, m, where uh, m is going to be the steps uh, to McDonald's. Um, so you can go ahead and plug that in. We're going to look at uh, the recurrence of g of 1 and g of m. So looking at, we know g of 1 is um, just going to be, this is going to cancel out. Um, so it's just going to be um, g of k plus 1 plus 1. Um, so that's this. And then g of m is going to be um, just 2 of m. Um, so then if we look at g of m plus 1 um, along this recurrence relation, we can see what we're going to get. So to get g of m plus 1, we're just going to look at this and then subtract 2 of m from both sides. Um, and 2 of m. Um, so once we have this, we can look at if we set M to uh, capital N minus 1, where capital N is uh, going to be uh, the bar, um, the, the, the position of the bar, um, we can go ahead and see what that's going to give us. So we know this is going to be um, g of n. Um, which we know is going to be equal to 0. Um, so we know 0 um, is going to equal uh, the form formula for g of m plus 1 with n minus 1 substituted in. Um, so since g of n, uh, or since g of 1 is equal to g of n minus 1, um, we know that by symmetry, um, we can find uh, that g of 1 equals g of n minus 1, um, which also just equals n minus 1, um, the expected position. So you can write that out. So then summing all the equations um, for values of m from 1 to n minus 1 um, will give us uh, a new formula. Um, so our new formula g of n is just going to equal n times g of 1 minus n times n minus 1 using a summation rule. Um, so using g of 1 equals n minus 1, um, we can help uh, simplify our equation. So this gives us a final solution of the expected number of steps um, is going to be uh, little n times capital N minus little n, which can also be expressed as a um, polynomial, where so.
So the expected number of steps g of n can be found using either of these two formulas. Um, so that pretty much wraps up our advanced knowledge problem of the week. Um, thank you for watching our video. Uh, look at the playlist of, for the advanced knowledge problem of the week for more advanced knowledge problems. And uh, subscribe for more content. Thank you.